One night, a Viking named Rudolf the Red was looking over the horizon when he said, it's going to rain. His wife asked, how do you know? Because Rudolph the Red knows rain, dear. Hey, YouTube, welcome back to another YouTube exclusive Alpha Star cast. Uh, if you want to keep seeing more of these videos, you want me to keep pumping them out, just keep liking the videos, leave me in the comments, all those things I love to see. But if you could do me one extra solid up here, I should be linking a video I put out yesterday where my friend Kathy and myself challenged the co-op on the hardest difficulty possible to do a workers only battle. No army units. Oh my God, there's so many archons. Oh, know. the storms. Oh my God, the storms. Oh, <laughs> my no. is all dying. Check it out. But with this video in hand, we have a ZVZ. To the bottom right in this Zerg standoff, we have the Red Zerg, the one, the only, Alpha Star. And Alpha Star's opponent in the top left, ranking in at Grandmaster. Ding, 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 ding. It's going to be the Blue Zerg. Well, who knows? Because they took the name out of the replay. I do see this comment frequently though, so to address it really quick, uh, in these replays, uh, Alpha Star on the ladder was actually listed as a barcode down here where the names would be, well, I guess on the opponent's side. And the Grandmaster players obviously had their real names. Uh, the DeepMind team though, for fear of perhaps there being inappropriate language or inappropriate names, who knows why, they did decide to remove all the names from the replays as well as all of the chat. So I constantly see people address like, oh, Alpha Star's so BM, Alpha Star doesn't GG, doesn't know when to GG, etc. Please know that they did disguise this, that when this was live on the ladder, Alpha Star did say good luck, have fun at the start of the games and GG at the end of the games. And that was it. Anything in between was up to the players, AKA the humans to uh, depict. But this is kind of interesting because God knows I opened this up expecting there to be cheese. <laughs> whether it's Alpha Star going all in or whether it's our human players trying to attack it, it seems to be there are not usually these more, we'll call them safe openings. I'm gonna say this in huge air quotes. Because ZVZ can very quickly turn into an all-in. We'll be keeping an eye on the production tab uh, for the uh, not-so-StarCraft-savvy people. Your drone production is really important in a ZVZ, and especially when watching a ZVZ. Because at any given moment, the players could choose to no longer make drones and instead invest all that future larva into Zerglings. Now, oftentimes you'll see between two to six made in the early game. Sometimes it's the scout. Usually it's about four if you want to go poke, or six if you're worried about fighting on the defensive side. It's not uncommon to have Zerglings. It's just a matter of whether the workers get sacrificed in the future to make them or not. But so far, fantastic. I gotta say, the, the builds have been almost mirrored identically minus this one strange Evo chamber, which... Flip a coin, dear viewers. Is this gonna be plus one melee or is this gonna be Carapace? Very rarely does an Evo chamber come down this quickly and not part of the front wall if it's gonna be plus one ranged weapons. So I don't think we're gonna see that be the case here for our human, but we'll keep an eye on this because... Those upgrades make a big deal if this ends up being a Ling versus Ling battle. Alpha Star's also put one drone off of gas. This is a subtle nuance that human players will do because you do want to keep your gas going. Wait, I, I, oh my God, I'm so wrong about this. This is the most uncommon early attack I've ever seen. Uh, oh, I shouldn't say ever, that's very hyperbolic. But the point of this, of what I'm saying is, this is so uncommon to rush this out. Uh, a lot of the times, plus one melee makes sense if that's your plan, that's your game. If you're going to go all in with roaches, though, usually it's more about numbers and less about upgrades. Make no mistake, having plus one, whether it's ranged weapons or whether it's armor, is always going to benefit your units. But usually, the cost of this upgrade is the cost of one or two more roaches to add into your army. Wait, that's a fast layer, too. Okay, our human players blow my mind right now. I, I'm pretty good at following StarCraft a lot of the time, but I'm actually genuinely confused what the game plan here is. It's a full wall off. It's probably a Nidus Worm. This is likely going to be all in. There's not enough gases for this to be a Spire, and of course, it would make no sense with the ranged weapon upgrades. So, our human player is going to go across the map and get really dirty. A cool double cancel here on the Evo Chambers. I like this a lot. Uh, having put those up, very wary of a potential all in. You'll note that the Overlord is pushed off by those Queens, so there was actually no scouting outside the base to see what would leave the base and come attack our human. And in this case, it could have been a Ling all-in. They didn't know. So the double Evo Chamber plus a Queen in the Wall guaranteed that while they made this very expensive risky transition to roaches like this, that there wouldn't be a swift end because Ling's got to the Mineral Lines. Uh, brilliant play to back up a very strange build style. But this, again, is weirdly all-in. This is going to have roach speed attached to it. It's going to have plus one ranged weapons. 
Uh, there's a huge thing to be argued about Defender's Advantage. If Alpha Star just sits at the top of this ramp, it totally negates speed from the Roaches. Uh, any fights into a choke will kind of negate the plus one ranged weapons upgrade. There's a lot of ways that this could really backfire on our blue Zerg, but keep in mind that if this game were to go, to say like 10 or 15 minutes, and these guys are maxing out our Roaches, while the player with the better upgrades is going to win. One of the other huge advantages you get from having the, uh, the speed upgrade is it does allow you to pick and choose your battles. Not normally something you can easily do because when you have two opposing units moving at the same speed, if you choose to run away, you're going to get shot in the back a lot of the time. Not the case when it's speed versus no speed. And it has been a long time since I've seen a ZVZ with speed versus no speed. But I don't think, and I really don't think it's going to have that big of a barrier on the match. But we do have some cool things happening. Oh, yeah, creep spreading directly down the middle of the map. We also have roaches knocking down the rocks? Question mark? I don't know what the advantage to this is. Maybe just hoping not be caught in a disadvantage. But while well, all of this analysis comes in, and frankly, we're just biding our time to see if and when the trigger gets pulled out of either of these players to attack, it is worth noting that Alpha Star's done a pretty good amount of scouting, but hasn't seen the third base, hasn't seen the tech choices in the main. A lot of what Alpha Star is doing is blind and thus likely of its own decision making and not reaction to the information that's being provided as scouting. Is that good or is that bad? Well, neither really, because it will have the appropriate amount of units. As I mentioned before, Roach versus Roach tends to be a numbers game. More Roaches equals you win, unless there's the, a really bad choke you fight into or something. But the, the point of this is this should be fine for both sides. I do feel, though, that Blue's going to come across the map, right? Moving on 21 Roaches to 21 Roaches. By the time they get here, another wave of Roaches is going to spawn, and Red should be at more like 27. And while Blue will have 26 or 27 Roaches on the map, only 21 are going to be here on the front lines. Did that, what, did, did that just disappear? Did I just see a ghost? What? <laughs> it's the weirdest bug. I've talked to the developers about this actually uh, at BlizzCon and they said it may have something to do with the units just not being loaded properly via replays. I don't know. They don't know either. It's funny to see though. Now uh, the attack comes from the south side. There's a Ravager to help with some funny enough Alpha Star. Oh, you see that hesitance out of our blue player? If they had just committed and taken the top of the ramp, yeah, there's a chance they could have been sandwiched in, but it would have had the concave against Red, who'd have to choke in through their own defensive fight. Uh, trying to make some Ravagers, not quite going to work out, so it's going to be a little bit of a waste of money. A couple of Roaches being sniped off here, too, but uh, you know, Alpha Star's coming up from plus one. Range, our humans coming up from plus two, so they're going to maintain their weapon upgrade advantage through this ZVZ for a time. I do want to say really quick, though, for anyone who might want to rush out to the ladder and, and do builds like this, uh, this is on the course, the previous version of the patch from the game, as this is a, a replay from about two or three months ago. And nowadays in the ZVZ meta, we're starting to see lurkers. Well, I wouldn't say meta, but there's, we're starting to see a comeback for lurkers. Uh, they become really powerful and they're really good at stopping roach attacks. But that's more of like a late game fringe scenario. And until we've been like a month or two into the patch, nothing's really going to be considered meta. Everyone's just reacting to new information and playing around with it how they can. But uh, decent fight over here to the left side. Starts off well for Alpha Star, but of course, the defender's advantage brings more units here to fight our Grandmaster. And this was just a bad place to take a fight. Uh, the rush out for upgrades has paid no benefit to this game whatsoever. And the worst of it is Alpha Star's catching up. So all of the quote unquote sacrifice to the early game, uh, be it through your gas being spent on upgrades and through the faster push out of layer, uh, roach speed, etc has not actually netted our human player any advantages in this game and alpha star is kind of getting to be that point of unstoppable i fear it all comes down to taking a bad fight versus a good fight and with more ravagers and alpha stars disposal even really bad growth of biles are going to force the army to move out of position are going to force them to give up ground or just hit and do 60 damage a shot to roaches that they land on so coming into the fight it's 35 to 37 72 and alpha star's got the numbers plus the defender's advantage an absolute dominating fight and what I love about this, this wasn't some cheesy game we need to clickbait the title with. Alpha Star goes all in, part 5, 15. This is actually just like straight up a good solid macro ZVZ. This is the type of ZVZ that I think was in the past fairly boring to me. But with the addition of Ravagers and players just generally improving, uh, it's definitely been a lot more fun. And Corrosive Biles have certainly changed things up in a big way. I mean, when you consider the fact Roaches only hoot for, shoot for 18 a shot, a Corrosive Bile landing for 60 is big damage. So I don't know exactly how many cross balls connected. I saw about two at least. That's like having an extra five or six roaches shoot right there. 
course, uh, top of the ramp, definitive damage will benefit Blue, but I don't know if it'll benefit them enough. There's 38 Roaches to 23, 10 Ravagers to 2. But you get over here, Human Player would target down the eggs and cancel the reinforcements, but honestly, Alpha Star doesn't have to do anything. Alpha Star doesn't have to finesse Jack. Alpha Star's about to win this game with this huge play. It's just it's too much. This Link's being spent, uh, spent across the field coming up behind this. There's no Link speed, but they are faster than Roaches running across the map. You do this if you want to try and just end the game and not commit to a follow-up. So that's exactly what Alpha Star's trying to do. Goals achieved, question mark. It's how many Roaches remain? 26 to 13, 10 to 2. And of course, plus two weapon upgrades were caught up a long time ago. So there are no advantages for Blue whatsoever. A complete collapse. Absolute destruction. GG. Alpha Star takes a victory. You guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like the video. Oh, God, that's so cliche. Look, I'm not going to say anything. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.